The export data files will contain comprehensive information about documents, in the case of doc data, history, and security, and structures in the case of workspace data, WS data, tab data, folder data, and search data. These individual data files can be configured to capture different information based on what is desired as part of the export process. To configure the data capture as part of the Worksite Exporter, go to the Options dialog of Worksite Exporter and go to the Logging and General Settings tab. The Log folder is the destination where all of these data files will be written as part of the export process. Select individual types of data files to be captured as part of the export process. And for different structural information for profile data, more specific detail can be captured and configured within this dialog. Workspace data generally includes description information, name, author, and any other met metadata. The object ID is also used to refer to the internal object identifier used within the worksite system. Tab data similarly contains name and description and object ID. Since those are the only attributes available for tabs, those are the only ones available for selection. Folders have description, name, and then any combination of metadata. If folders have different metadata values, those can be selected and added to the data capture and the order of any data fields that are captured can be changed using the up and down arrows within the individual structural tabs. Search, datas, search data similarly contains name and description, a special operator for all search parameters since this can be a dynamic set of structures with different values or multiple values for each search parameter and the search object ID. Document data also can be configured for any document specific metadata that can be applied on a document profile. In addition, specific values associated with email messages like the message unique ID or the size of the physical file can also be captured in the data file. The report data includes a combination of different types of data fields specific to documents or any type of structure and can be captured in specific order based on how the report is desired to be output in the CSV file. Note that all of the different CSV files will also contain a field within them for the full path of the content where it was actually exported, including the root path of the export destination. To run an export with Worksite Exporter, once the program has been configured, right-click on the structure to be exported, in this case a workspace, select Export Documents from the menu, the Worksite Exporter window will appear. Browse to the destination where the content should, should be exported to. And hit the Go button. The export will progress through the structures within the workspace. It will also show a log file of information about the documents being exported and will also show running totals of elapsed time, number of folders processed, number of documents processed and exported, total bytes, and throughput. When the export is completed, the Export Complete dialog will appear. If any warnings or errors have been encountered during the export process, they will appear in individual tabs on the program window. Close the program and the export is complete. To see the content that has been exported, browse to the selected destination folder and you can see the structures that have been exported and reproduced within the output matching the structures that have been selected within the workspace or other structures to be output. Additionally, any data files that have been configured for capture during the export process with document information, folder information, document history, a general log of the program operations, a comprehensive report of all the content that has been exported including structures, search metadata, security information for documents and structures, tab information and workspace information has all been captured within the specified logging folder. And of course all of the documents that have been selected for export 
have been exported to the appropriate destination folders using the naming convention configured within the application. The export data files contain whatever information has been specified within the Worksite Exporter Options dialog. These data files will contain specific information based on the actual export that has been run as part of a particular process. Again, every export CSV data file contains a column for the path of the folder or document or other structure that has been processed as part of the export a column that indicates what type of structure or in this case document has been exported and then any other metadata fields that have been configured within the worksite exporter application. This data can be used to re-import back into a database and then be used to drive the doc auto I import application to reconstruct not only documents and all of their metadata but also all of the structures, all of the structural metadata, security, and document history that was captured as part of a worksite exporter process. Worksite exporter has the ability to do differential exporting and filtering on the content that it exports. To access these options, go into the worksite exporter options dialog and check Enable Differential Exporting to allow Worksite Exporter to automatically track which content it has already exported and only export new or modified content when doing subsequent exports. Specify a folder for the export data to be collected. It is also possible to automatically purge these logs after a certain number of days and to have the purge occur automatically when ex Worksite Exporter runs. You can also manually purge the logs by clicking on the Purge Logs Now button. Worksite Exporter has the ability to filter which documents are exported using specific metadata criteria on the documents. For example, you can configure Worksite Exporter to only export documents from a certain database, a certain author, certain applications, document classes or subclasses, edit dates, client matter, or any other metadata that can be captured on the document profile. Descriptive information is also permissible for these filtering purposes. To only export documents for a specific author, for example, select author in the profile field and then select the author that you wish to use for the export process. Note that a multi-select is permissible as part of this process. Click the Add Value to Filter to capture this information within the list of filters for the document filtering. You can choose whether to force Worksite Exporter to use all of the filters defined or only any particular filter defined to filter documents for the exporting process. So, for example, to capture documents by the same author and operator, this will allow documents where the author may be one of the users but not the other to be exported appropriately. 